Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the HIS HD 4770 512MB video card. What's included with the video card is an installation guide, software drivers, case badge, DVI to VGA dongle, DVI to HDMI dongle, and a crossfire bridge. The HIS HD 4770 512MB video card has a PCI Express interface of 2 compared to the older video cards which has a PCI Express interface of 1. This video card is based on the RV740 core which is built on the 40 nanometer manufacturing process and has 826 million transistors. Let's have a closer look at the cooler. While the heatsink looks like it's copper, it's actually aluminum painted a copper color. The base plate comes in direct contact with the GPU, but not the memory, and the 92 millimeter fan blows cool air over the many fins, dissipating the heat, keeping the GPU cool. While this cooler isn't as impressive as HIS's larger blower style video card coolers, it keeps the GPU cool even at max load. This is in part though due to its 40 nanometer manufacturing process. This video card has two DVI connections as well as a video out connection and requires one six pin power connection. While the maximum power consumption of this video card is only 80 watts, a quality power supply is still recommended, especially in a multiple video card crossfire configuration. Also note that there are two crossfire connectors, so a quad crossfire X configuration is possible. The core speed on this product is 700 150 megahertz and the 512 megabytes of GDDR5 128 bit memory is 3.2 gigahertz. It comes with 640 stream processing units for vertex, pixel, and geometry data, 40 texture units, and 16 raster operations. The pixel fill rate is 12 gigapixels per second. Texture fill rate is 24 gigatexels per second, and the memory bandwidth is 51.2 gigabytes per second. This video card has too many technologies to mention in detail in this video, but let me cover the main ones. Custom filter anti-aliasing. Unified super scalar shader architecture. Tessellation. High definition multimedia interface output support and DirectX 10 which is exclusive to Windows Vista operating system. DirectX 10 is the key technology that stands out because it offers much better graphics than DirectX 9. In this video you can clearly see the difference between DirectX 9 and DirectX 10. DirectX 10 offers dynamic lighting, added detail, realistic shadows, richer scenes, complex environments, and so on. This is possible because it manages data transfers between the CPU and video card much better. This results in optimal use of the CPU and video card for special tasks like graphic effects, AI, and physics, resulting in the best performance possible and offers an unreal gaming experience. Additionally, another new exciting technology that's impressive is Avivo HD Video and Display Platform, which essentially enables superior quality and a high definition visual experience. This video card is also Crossfire Multi GPU ready. These latest video cards use a small Crossfire bridge to connect each video card together. If you're in the market for a budget video card but you want it to be big on performance, keep this video card on the very top of your list. I was very surprised at the overall performance on this video card. Now keep in mind, of course, this video card will not compete with the 4800 video cards which have faster GPUs and a lot more memory than this video card. But this video card has major, major bang for the buck. And for that, it would get a kick-ass rating. But overall, it's a great product. Until next time, take care.